Okay. I should be in the right group now. Good afternoon and good evening. Oh, really, I do hope I can find myself. Bitch. I should be live. Yeah, people can find me. Now I have to find myself. I'm very sorry for all the confusion. I really, 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 really thought I was in the right group. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Good. I'm here. Back again. I'm going to start all over again. <laughs> again and again and again. Good afternoon. Good evening. I am so sorry. <laughs> And now you can share it. I think you can share it now. I'm very sorry, Else. I really, and I'm very sorry, Anna. I really thought it had to be in the family group. Beginner problems. But I will start over again. Okay, good. I'm going to work. I am, oh, I will start all over, over, over again. My name is Rihanna, or Rihanna in Dutch. I will listen to both names. I have worked for English managers and I, I'm used to speaking English. Um, it has been a while, so my English is a bit rusty. Just help me when I say something very stupid. Um, I'm going to work in my traveler's notebook. And this is my fun. Um, to me, mixed media and art journaling is relaxing, having fun and not having to trouble about lives in different groups. But hello. <laughs> Good, people can find me now. Yay. I'm very, very sorry for the delay. Good. Yeah. Third time is a charm, right? <laughs> um, I'm going to make something similar like this. A bit of a vintage look um, with an insert, a label and all kind of fun stuff. Uh, for those who weren't in my other, <laughs> in the wrong group, in my other life, I am a member of the Art Journal Specials design team from Elizabeth Craft Designs. So I haven't been for a long time, but I just love doing it. And I just, well, art journaling is my passion and my way to relax. Um, maybe I will tell this twice for some people. <laughs> yeah, it must be a full moon thing, I think so as well. I told everybody that I use this die cut to uh, make a page, you'd like a, a page for my traveler's notebook and this die is from the floral inserts die set. It comes with flowers as well, but I used it to make this page. And also I used the journal edges die to make an edge because can you see it? Because I just love, 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 love uh, making fun edges. I used another one as well for this one. So, so much fun. So that's what I did already. Because otherwise you will just see me die cutting and stamping and cutting. And that's not really fun. Oh, I'm, I'm now getting nervous. <laughs> I wasn't nervous before, but I'm now getting nervous. I'm very sorry. Okay, phew. So, this is what I've done already. Uh, what I've also done um, over here is some die cutting. And I will start with the page in a minute, but I will just show you what I have done already. This is a label, a very fun label from the Winter Home Pocket Set from the Art Journal Specials. And I used their paper from the Mystical Winter Sets. And this is an insert, a pocket, and I will use it here later. And the pocket comes um, from the Flowers of Winter set, a die set, which is also from the Art Journal Specials. And um, I have it here somewhere, and I, guess, and I can show you. That's this one. And what I also did is die cut some flowers and I did that from the rusty weathered paper. So I used the design paper to die cut. Those are also from the florals of winter sets. So that's what I wanted to show you beforehand. I'm now going to prep the 
pages. I will use a, yeah, I love the edge die as well. And the winter, mystical winter uh, collection also has great, great, great die sets for the edges. I'll just put that here. Okay, what I'm going to do to start with is glue some book paper, just plain book paper from a very old book, if I can find it. Oh, here. Um, I, oh, yeah, some people are heartbroken if books are used, but <laughs> I, I, this is a very old book. It was a very, well, I didn't really like it, so I'm just going to tear it up. And I'm going to use it on the right page, not too much, just a little bit. And I'm just going to glue that down with regular glue. So just glue it down with regular glue. I'm going to do this and you won't see a lot of it later on, but you will see a little bit. And, um, I think uh, backgrounds can be made a bit more interesting with details like this. Yeah, um, and I, oh, I, I just love doing mixed media projects. I have doing this for I have been doing this for almost three years now, and I just love it. Okay. That what I'm going to do next is prep the left page and I'm going to use a stencil. These are the stencils from the Mystical Winter uh, collection from the Art Journal specials and they have great stencils. Really, really, really great stencils. And I'm going to use this one and this one because this is a sort of a mandala here and i love those as well so i'm going to use these two yeah you can share i think what i'm going to do with those stencils is use modeling paste modeling paste is a thick structure paste and you can get a yeah a structure on your on your page with it so I'm going to use it through a stencil stencil I, I'm just I just love stencils because of the great effect you get um yeah I'm going I just want to use them the a part of the stencil so what I'm going to do is position it here in the corner And use this palette knife to add the modeling paste. It's a fun way to add structure to your page. So I'm trying to get calm, uh, to become calm again because <laughs> I was really nervous. I really, really thought I had to go live in the other group. Meanwhile, my family ran away. <laughs> There's nobody here anymore. They said, oh God, she's getting nervous. We have to get out of here. So. This is one part. And I'm going to remove parts I don't want. And now I have part of the stencil on my page. It's a very easy way to add structure to your page. So, good. Further, I'm a fan of baby wipes. So I use them a lot to clean my, well, clean just everything. And you will see me using it for something else as well later on. I'm going to use the heat tool to dry this. Before I'm doing the other page because well otherwise I can yeah smudge the left page and that's not what I want. I want 
this one will let's show. Yeah. So the heat so I can't miss the heat so otherwise it will take far too long to dry and I'm not that patient. <laughs> okay. I hope I can still see the comments. The stencils are so fun. I'm now going to do the right page with this one. Also using modeling paste through a stencil. It's like using a knife to put butter on your bread. <laughs> That's what I always say in Dutch. I don't know if it's a saying in, uh, in English, but that's what I call it. And I will just use it over the book paper. So this goes into the water next to me. So It's hard for me to read the comments. So I don't I hope I don't miss any questions or anything. Um, because it's a bit hard to to read them. Oh, you're not too late, Brooke. I just began because I had trouble finding the right group to go live in. But I'm here. I'm here now. I will never make that mistake again, I'm sure. <laughs> so, this is going to be the base of my pages. And I want a bit of a vintage look. Going to dry this again. And after this, because I want uh, to, I would like, I'm going to use acrylic paint and um, I want to protect my pages. I want to protect the book paper because that's fragile. And I'm going to add a bit of gesso. Gesso is uh, a way, gessoing your page is a way to prep your page and make sure that the paint or ink or whatever you're using after that is not going into the pages so it will stay on there and it will give a good color um, there are all kinds of gesso I'm going to use a transparent one but you can use white as well of course there's my brush <laughs> I constantly see the message from Elizabeth Craft Design ah there you are So, I'm going to use a gesso to prep my pages because I'm going to use acrylic paint and I want to protect the book paper and I want to protect the pages. And this is a see-through, a transparent gesso, but yeah, you can use white if you want to as well. And you can use white with a bit of water so you won't cover all the book paper. So. Mixed media is layering, layers, layers and layers. So that's it for this. And I will heat dry it again because yeah, well the, the heat tool is very important to use. <laughs> Otherwise, you will have to wait hours and hours before something is dry. And I'm really not that patient. So. Once that's dry. I'm going to use the paint. And 
And this is going to be fun because um, oh, because because <laughs> yeah, the transparent gesso is just great because you can use it on design paper as well. It, it, it doesn't hurt the paper at all, and you will see everything underneath. And yeah, I, I think transparent gesso is a must have if you like mixed media. But that's my personal opinion, you don't have to take my word for it. I'm going to use a bit of a chal chalky, I think you call it, uh, paint. It's a green. And I'm going to use a baby white. And I'm going to use the baby white to paint. Why? Because if I use a brush, you will get a thick layer on it. And I want, I don't want a thick layer, I want a bit of a shabby chic, a bit of a vintage effect. So, I will show you. I will put a bit of paint on my finger, on the baby wipe. And the baby wipe, of course, is a bit wet. And I'm going over it like this. Now, if I think there's too much paint, I will just take a clean part and I will immediately, immediately take it off. So I can control the paint much more than I would with a brush. You see? Oh, you are so sweet. I'm just a bit, um, a bit off because, well, I went live wrong in the two times in the wrong group, but I'm here. And I will just do my thing because I really want to show you this technique. Bit more paint. And you see, you will see the book uh, paper underneath. And I will just take off a bit too, where I think it's too much. I will just take it off with my baby wipe. such a fun technique so a bit of a vintage chalky look <laughs> I am trying to read all the comments but it's going so fast <laughs> So, this is one part. The second part is to dye, uh, to paint uh, with coffee. Um, first I have to dry the green paint. After that's dry, I will add coffee. And you think, coffee? Why coffee? Because it gives a bit of a vintage look. It's a great way to paint. Yeah, I'm really going to paint with coffee. This is regular coffee. It's cold coffee, <laughs> but it's regular coffee. And you will see why I'm going to do this. Because it will give you... Um, a bit of a brownish vintage look it's really really fun to do and it's cheap <laughs> you don't have to buy anything but coffee 
look I'm going to leave the coffee on there for a minute and then I'm going to use my heat tool so yeah satisfied this is so much fun <laughs> it really really is you can use tea as well but you have to use dark tea it really smells good yeah it does it really smells good Angela it really does and my husband says why are you making coffee because you don't drink coffee I said well I'm going to paint with it he said you're crazy you're really crazy are you going to paint with coffee yes I'm going to paint with coffee <laughs> because the effect is really really great you get a brown look you get that vintage brown look and that's what I want um, I don't know if you can see it it, it has a um, brown glow over it a vintage brown glow and it smells really good <laughs> I want to emphasize the mandala a bit more I have some cold paints it's a um, yeah, gilding paint they call it you can just use gold it's this is the acrylic paint it's plastic I'll just put it there I will just put a little bit on my finger just a little bit and we'll go over my page I like the cold on it so now I have the brown coffee look and a bit of cold and why cold because in the paper in the design paper there's a bit of cold there as well so yeah oh this looks like fun already just clean it a little bit and put it aside going to try to read oh you're talking a lot that's very nice it's always fun to do this and just talk to one another this way <laughs> so I've used a chalky green um, light green uh, acrylic paint I've used coffee and a bit of uh, gilding paint cold paint I'm going to dry this again And now there are several things I can do. I can make more texture on here. Uh, or I can stamp. And I think I will start with stamping. And I'm going to use a really beautiful stamp. One of my favorite stamps. And that's from the words and layers set from the art journal specials. These are so beautiful. And I think I will use this one. Oh. Um, let's see if I'm going to miss any questions. Yeah, this is so much fun to show you because this this is something I do uh, not not all the time, but I do this sometimes, and it always gives a great effect. I'm going to use a bit of distress ink, a dark brown. This is walnut stain distress ink, and I'm going to randomly stamp on my page, and it gives you more um, texture on the page. You see? And this is really one of my favorite, favorite, favorite stems. 
such a great effect. Don't uh, just use a bit uh, on, on edges, on parts that don't have much uh, texture yet. And use it randomly. Don't think, overthink it. Sometimes it's easier to get this out of the way and just use your hands. I always use my hands. My hands are always full of paint and I have to really clean up after doing crafts. So, this is going to get my cleaner for my stamp. Just clean this stamp. Yep. And then I'm going to put this back on here. Yeah. And go on with the next thing. You can do more stamping if you want to, but this is fine. For now, I can always add more stamping later, because I also have this one, the Frosty Patterns uh, stamp, and it's really pretty as well, and I feel, think, okay, I should add something, then I will do that later on. Next step, really layering, huh? Layering, layering, layering. This is what we've got so far, so the chalky paint, the coffee, the cold paint, uh, and the stamping on there with the... Uh, with a pretty uh, uh, mandala stamp, I call it. Really, really pretty. Okay, next thing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue down my pockets. This is what I've shown you before. This is the pocket uh, from the Florals of Winter die set. And um, I just have to use I have to just fold this and then I can use it on my page, you see? And there is a bit of cold in the paper as well. That's why I wanted a bit of cold on my page too. You see? That's what I wanted to do. I have double-sided tape, which I'm going to use to glue it down. So. And then I'm going to put it on the page. So that's one. And that's two. Okay, and it, of course it fits, it totally fits. Charlene and Ilse thought this through. So, that's the pockets. And of course there should be something in the pockets. And that's going to be the label, which I showed you before. It's uh, the label from the Winter Home Pocket. Um, so. And it's going to be in here. Like this. But this is a bit too plain. And I thought, well, I can do something about that. I will just add something. And of course, if you are a scrapbooker, you can put pictures on here. You can put pictures on here. I've done this. Uh, I've done that with my example as well. I've used a sticker picture from Finnebear on there. But you can use your own pictures, of course. That's no problem at all. But I will use this label and I will put the... I will glue down the 
dies on there, I think. And I showed you before, I will use them now. These flowers are beautiful. And I have more. I have these as well. I will show you from which stamp sets I got this from. These two are from the first Sides of Spring stamp sets. I've already stamped them and cut them out, otherwise it will take too long. And this is from this one. The Poppy Dream sets. I used yes, you, these two from that set. And also, I've used parchment paper, I think you call it. We call it vellum, but I think in English it's parchment paper. And this is one of the blooming branches. And I'm going to use all of them and I'm going to color these. First, the pockets. Let's see how to do this. Oh, it's... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Look. I'm going to do it like this and I can add a picture later. I'm going to glue this down. Vellum, yeah? Okay. I looked it up beforehand and it says vellum and it says parchment paper. So I don't know which one people use. I just said, thought, okay, I will use both <laughs> and everybody will understand what I'm talking about. And I will take this part off. So it's going to be a nice composition of flowers and branches. Where is it? Oh, almost invisible. <laughs> so, I don't need much glue, just a little bit to glue it on there. Stay put, stay put. Yeah. That's one. I'm not ready yet. I'm going to do more. I'm going to take this off. Yeah. That's one. And I'm going to add gold to this one as well. I'm going to do that. With effect page from Finnebear. Is great, great effect on your page. Doesn't look good, does it? But it dries very good. It dries very pretty. And I'm only going to do that on the right side, otherwise it won't fit into the pockets anymore. I'm using the palette knife again for this. So it's vintage and cold, a bit of glam and a bit of vintage. Oh, but it, it will cover all my work, but you can take it out so you will see it. And it's, I think it's always good to do all the backgrounds. You will, you never know what you will see. And I know it's, will be covered for the most part, but not all of it. So that's cold enough. So that's, we will try it again. I will use it again later. So I will just put it aside. Oh. And I have to refresh the <laughs> comments again, otherwise I can't read what you're telling me. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really look good in the in a 
in there, but it looks great on your page. I have to dry it. It really adds the glam to your page. Really pretty. Yes, uh, I can add it to material list later. No problem. It takes a bit of time to dry, but I will just do the first piece and I will leave it to dry. And I can do the rest. That's it for that. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to color the flowers with watercolors. It doesn't take long and the effect is uh, always good. I have a lot of watercolors. Uh, let's see which one I'm going to use. I don't think I'm going to use this one. And I, I don't have much work space here, so I'm going to use this one. And I forgot to take some water, but I'm going to get some water. I'm nearby the kitchen, so... Done already. See, just some water and a brush. Where are they? Here. No, that's the wrong one. Where is my brush? Here. This is the one I wanted. This is going to be fast. And I want the colors to be the about the same as here. So I want yellow and then maybe blue. Might not be correct, but it fits on the page. So I have to refresh the comments again. Good. So, um, yeah, what will I do? I think I'm going to use these two, the orangey and the gold one, and I'm going to use blue. And this is going to be oh, this one, this blue. This is a very beautiful blue. This is going to be fast. It doesn't have to take long. Because watercoloring, well, you get a great effect very fast. And it's not going to be correct because normally this is not blue, but it will fit the page. And that's what I'm aiming for. That's the blue one, finished already. These two are going to be orangey gold, the gold first, so I'm getting quiet. <laughs> And so, a bit of the orange, because there is a bit of orange in the other flowers as well. The other flowers are from the design papers, and this is a stamp, so I couldn't, yeah, I didn't use the design paper for this, but I can color them. You see, it's a very fast, it's very fast. You don't have to take long to color. You can if you want to, but I never do. So, I'm <laughs> refreshing it again. I think. So, oh, Denise, the mixed media thing is, it's addictive, really. Once you've tried it and you see how well, easy it is, because it's not in the beginning, of course, you have to really 
well try a few things and practice but once you did once you do it's really really fun um, and a green a bit of a green Well, yeah, a lot of people like to color with uh, pencils, of course that's a possibility. I think watercolor is very easy to do and it's fast. Everybody has its own way to color, I think. Markers, ink, pigment powders, everything is possible. And my hands are dirty again, but that's always the case when I'm doing this. Look. Getting there already. So. And this one. This one is going to be in green. It's a bit of an olive green. I think it's a beautiful color green and it fits the background. Yeah. Yeah, people who know me know that I like doing this. <laughs> so, beautiful stamps. So, I think my children went to bed already. No? My husband says no. <laughs> They're not sleeping yet. Are they waiting for me? No. <laughs> it's getting a bit too late. But it's Saturday tomorrow, so they can be in bed a bit later, right? That's not so bad. So, that's about it. Ready! That goes really fast. I don't have any space here anymore. <laughs> I will just put that here. Okay. I will dry it. Normally I wouldn't dry it with the heat tool. This up. Oh. But otherwise I have to wait too long, so I will just do it for this time. This is dry already. Oh, that goes really, really fast. It's dry already. That goes fast. So I can add it to my page with some glue. Where's my glue? Here it is. And I will do that here in the corner. And I'm, I made this one blue to match the right, but it's also okay that if I put it in my traveler's notebook and um, it's go, and it's not a double page like here, then it's okay because they're separate, they're fine as well. And I might add pictures later. <laughs> they don't want to do what I want to do. You kind of get a bouquet of flowers. I'm going to be a bit later than uh, 9 o'clock because it's 9 o'clock already. But that's because of the 10 minutes I wasted going live in the wrong group. No, I have to first do the 
leaves and then do the flowers. So it's a small bouquet of flowers. Oh, putting that needle back in the <laughs> precision work. Where are my scissors? I will cut this off. So. This is going to be here. Now, I think I want more Gold. As I said, I will use it again later. So here is the gold again, the glitter and the glam. I'm going to add it to this page as well. Not too much, just a bit. In the corners, maybe that's that's a nice thing to do in the corners. And I will do it here as well. So. I think this will give a great effect. Yeah, very nice. I'm done with this page. A bit. I'm done with this paste, not page. Paste. And I will have to refresh my comments section. Ha! There we go. This page, uh, this paste I'm using is from Finnebear. It's, what is it? Effect, effect page, unicorn paste, golden dragon. So, it's not going to be completely dry right now, but this is enough for now. The last thing I want to add is here, something, I want to do something here, because I think, and I want to add, well, I'm also going to add some rope, a bit of a thin rope, this is it, I'm going to make a, a, a bow tie like this, and I will put it on there and on there, and I want to add a word, and I'm going to do that with this one. The journal words. You see those words? They're so pretty. And I'm going to use it on the book paper. That's my black ink. My black ink. Which word am I going to use? Create, beauty, relax. Um, let's see. Beauty, I think. I'm going to add the word beauty here. So. Clean my stamp. I'm just going to tear this. It doesn't really have to be straight, you know. It's just more fun to tear it up a bit. So, and I want that word to be here, but it's very boring like this. So I have some of this. 
stuff. I don't even know the English word for that, but I think if you see it, you know what I mean. Where's my scissors? I will put the word on here. Let me just cut this off. I will glue it on here. Yeah. I'm now using glue, but you can also use this. An extra detail. Extra detail on your page. And then I'm going to glue it on this. And that should be it. And what I said, you can add pictures. Like here, I will add a picture here later. And you can take it out. You will see the background again. Um, yeah. A bit of a vintage glam page. And I will use rope through this hole as well. So I think I'm ready. This should be it. Well, good. I'm going to wish you a very, well, good day or good evening, just wherever you are. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And very sorry that I went live in the wrong group twice. But you found me, you were here, and maybe I will see you next time, and otherwise you will see me in the group, I'm sure. Good day, bye-bye.